while I'm on the live because I'm worried that if I couldn't flip the camera then I wouldn't go to show you anything. But let me press this button and see. Yeah, yeah, I can flip the camera. <laughs> I was like, can I flip the camera? Can I not flip the camera? Um, so it is. Oh, my watch is still saying I'm walking. One minute, we just literally touched us with a little quick blast around the block. Because it's so cold that some of my face has gone all oh, red. Like my nose is bright red because it's freezing out there. Um, is it zero? Yeah, which is about. 30-ish in America. In Fahrenheit. Yeah. Let me see. It says on my watch that it is... It says 5 degrees on my watch. Oh, it definitely wasn't 5. Degrees. High of 6, low of 1. Yeah. No, it definitely wasn't at 5 degrees. Um, so it is dark now, which is crazy because we literally went out about... 12 o'clock. Not long ago, did we? Oh, sorry. No, we're not. It's like gone pitch black now. It's 4.52 now and it's dark. Like, how is it dark? It's not even 5 o'clock. How can it be dark at 9 o'clock? I said I'd be happy if it just stayed light till about 7 o'clock all year round. We don't need the really light nights. I don't like, I don't like dark nights. I think like sometimes you get up in the dark, you go to work in the dark and you come home in the dark. But when we were in New York, like when we came home from New York, we realise like the difference because in New York, I don't, they must like in the UK we have something called daylight savings. So every now and again, the clocks either go forward or they go back, and it's to do with the farmers. Um, but when we were in New York, it was lighter for longer, wasn't it? Yeah. Like at night time, it didn't go dark. Like now, it wouldn't be dark now in New York, at just before five o'clock. So we came home and I was like, oh my gosh, what time is it? It's gone dark, it must be really late. And then I realised that it wasn't actually that late, but it's just because my body, like I've got used to looking outside in New York and it not being that dark. Um, so it's really strange, isn't it? The way it goes so dark. You can see outside there, it's literally like really dark now. It's pitch black. It's really dark and really cold. So you don't know how cold it is just by looking. How can you tell how cold it is by looking outside the patio doors? I can feel that cold. You can feel the cold by looking at the cold, yeah. by looking outside. I've never heard that in my life before. Has anybody heard that? That's absolutely madness. You can feel the cold by looking outside. Um, so today we went to a, um, like a clearance. Yeah, it's called catalogue um, returns in Wakefield. Catalogue returns in Wakefield. So I did do a bit of a live when we were there. So you might have um, seen that. And it was about an hour and 20 minutes away. Um, I feel like I'm glad we went in one way because I feel like if we didn't go we would have been like oh what's there and what what isn't there but I feel like we potentially didn't need to go and probably wouldn't go again for a while um, I think I will go back I think I was just annoyed by the fact that they'd mark stuff up in price yeah that's what annoyed at the most is that some stuff they'd clearly wrote over the top of the labels and that meant that they'd marked the price up so the price of whatever it should have been they'd put it as higher um, which was half the marked price but they'd made the marked price yeah so everyone was still half the marked price so whatever the price was it was half price like 50 percent off but they'd put the price higher like the original price tag um than what it was so i mean some stuff was like sale items but say like you could say like the sale item on the Disney shop was ten pounds, they'd put it at say fifteen pounds. So you got it at half price at seven fifty, so which was still cheaper than your ten than you would have paid from the Disney shop. But if it was ten in the Disney shop, half would have been five, yeah. if that makes sense. And um, prime examples with some of the stuff that we bought. Yeah, but like I said, but we still saved on them, so I'm still happy with what we got. I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't think it was a saving anyway. No. Um, so I still think what we got was a saving. I would say, I would recommend, I said that's one, if like you were redoing your house, because they had a lot of like um, habitat stuff, but they also had like curtains, a massive big thing on the back. And it was just like all around the edges at the back. And it had a thing up saying everything with a red X on is five pounds, no matter what it is. So some stuff had like prices on, but then they had an X, a red X over the price, and that meant they were just five pounds. So when we went round, there was like absolutely loads of curtains, bedding. Um, I mean, mostly it was curtains and bedding, wasn't it? Absolutely loads, but like yeah, habitat bedding, curtains, games, like double, um, double bed bedding, a fiver, a 
I can't believe it was so cheap. And it was like, you know, really good. So like Habitat, Next. Uh, not like anything cheap, was it? It was some really good one. Some of it was £100 of a label and it should have been £5. So that's really good. Um, yeah, they had like some blinds in it there. Um, poles. And then they had, um, you'll see on the, on the live video, they had like a, it wasn't like a full dinner set. So I suppose that would be the only thing, like if you wanted a full dinner set. Maybe we just bought a new house and you were just starting out. They had like it was like four bowls and four side plates for five pounds. Now I think you can't beat that. It's a habitat bowls, four habitat bowls and four habitat side plates for five pound. Some of it was actually six bowls, six plates and a dinner plate. And um, they had like four mugs of four, so like four sets of mugs, four sets of glasses. I uh, haven't had any cutlery or anything. And then they had things like lights. Um, there's quite a lot of lights that were five pounds. Um, they had like laundry baskets, didn't they? I'm trying to think what else was in that five pound bit. One of it was a cop mobile, like a black and white cop mobile that had been opened up. So it didn't have a box, but five pounds. I had a I don't know if it was a steriliser as well. Oh, there was a, a baby sling as well, like a baby carrier. Oh, because right. I thought if I would have gone before my sister had a baby, I would have got her all of that. Because like a baby carrier for five pound, a steriliser for five pound, a cop mobile for five pound. That's You'd pay more than that for one of them, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, they had some toys and some games, but they weren't like amazing things. Uh, they were kind of a bit mismatched, wasn't they? And a bit, um, some like the boxes were damaged. Most of it was probably what you'd buy just like for your own children. Um, we did get one thing, but there wasn't a lot that you could kind of buy for gifts for people. Um, not in the five pound sale. There was lots of other Disney stuff and that, but just in the, in the general, general five pound sale, there wasn't a lot of stuff that you would buy for um other people because it was like where the box was torn or they'd like sellotape the item into the box um yeah there was a huge warehouse that i realized after i ended the live that i hadn't gone through to another section i thought that was it and it was full of furniture so it was like um sofas lots of bar stools wasn't there yeah. but where there was just one or like two and then like dining room table chairs but just one chair which I thought you're not really going to buy this one dining room chair unless it kind of needs an extra one for Christmas and it looks similar to your others. Oh, you're like done um, your own and have no friends. <laughs> oh, you're like done your own and have no friends. That's an awful thing to say. Um, but it wasn't that cheap, was it? Even in the sale, something like sixty pounds just for one mm -hmm. chair. Um, they had a few like tables, like sideboards, wardrobes, chest of drawers, cabinets, TV stands. Um, then there was another room again that had all bedside tables in there um, and more like laundry baskets and mattresses. Then they had, you could go up the stairs and they had the bed frames uh, and they had some sofas but not many and they wasn't like, um, they didn't have like a three and a two or a three and a chair. They were kind of like random, like a bottle green one, a pink one. Um, but I suppose if you just wanted it for like a conservatory or an extra room, they were about two, three hundred pounds, something like 150, wasn't there? Some of them wasn't too bad, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I feel like if you're a moving house or moving into your first home and you got a sofa for 300 quid, it's not bad, is it? No, <laughs> if you got a two seat sofa, a three seat sofa for 300 pounds, it's not bad. Um, so I would go for something like that, maybe, but I'm not sure if I'd go again for. I don't know, but and there was loads of spirit jerseys, wasn't I think there? And the loads thing of clothes. Is to keep an eye on the Facebook page and see what they've got in. Yeah, so they have their own Facebook page, so and they upload it. So we saw yesterday, before we left today, it said 15 hours ago, 50% off all Disney merch, it said, didn't it? Yeah. Um, and like I said, I showed you in the video, they had like the pretzel um, spirit jersey, the popcorn spirit jerseys, the waffle spirit jersey, um, the one that's like the lounge that I've got. I call it the Epcot one, but it's not, is it? No. Um, the balloon spirit, then we have the Hocus Pocus spirit jerseys. Somebody got the purple one that I've got, that Liz got them from the outlets. Um, it's like the purple, is that the one from like this year, the celebration one? Yeah, it sold out at the start of the year. Oh gosh, um, so the purple one, somebody got that one in there as well. Um, and a lot of them were like, I can't think how much there was now. I want to say they were like, for, once you'd had the half price, they were like 30 quid. Yeah, some of them were, they had, oh, oh there was hoodies, some of the, a lot of the hoodies were 35, then half price. Um, so they weren't bad, was they for that? No. Um, I'm loads of hoodies. Well, but I'm on a hoodie band because I've got two. Yeah, I'm on a hoodie band because I counted eight on the back of the door the other day. Eight hoodies. Three of them were the Jasper. same hoodie. 
Just for like exactly nodding. The same hoodie. Why have you got three exactly the same? The Walt Disney World spirit jersey one. But why have you got three of it? Because the pocket kept breaking. And the oh pocket yes, one. because the one oh, the pop the stitching came undone on the pocket after a week, so we got a new one, and, and then the stitching came undone again. Um, so it's like a spirit jersey, but it's got a hood, like a hood. Um, yeah, it was really bad that, wasn't it? And then they did have lots of Disney kind of things. So they had not a lot of plushes, but they had quite a few plushes, but not loads. Then it was more kind of like toys. So they had like Toy Story toys, Star Wars toys. Um, they had, what did they have? They only had two lounge flies, a Marvel one and a Haunted Tower one. Uh, Haunted Tower, <laughs> Tower Terror one. They had quite a few ears, didn't they? Yeah, they had Halloween ears. Uh, yeah, Halloween ears. They were 20... 22 pounds. I'm trying to think. No, 22 full price. Yeah, so then they were half price. price. Yeah. They had Chewbacca ears. I was really going to get them, but I was like, no, I think you've got too many ears. And they had the 50th ears for 40. 50th ears, yeah, 20. they were 40, so they would have been 20. They had some new new clothes. But the only new movie they had there was the Winnie the Pooh, but they had some clothes, that wasn't too yeah, bad. Yeah. And can you shut that door on Jasper then? It's absolutely free. Well, Liz can get them from the outlets for two dollars. Yeah, but so. we buy them off Liz from the outlets for one dollar ninety nine. But then we do have to pay the shipping fee for that and, yeah. the, and the cost well, if it's of, part uh, of a bigger order. Yeah. And um, they didn't really have a lot of pins, only had a couple of pins. Um they had some Christmas ornaments, but again, not many variety. They had Fox and the Hound and Buzz Lightyear were five pounds each, but I think that was it for the cheaper ones. Um, trying to think what else. Then they had like loads of stuff from um, other shops, shop, the shop that we have in the UK called Asda, um, George in Asda, and they have loads. So they had loads and loads of Easter stuff, and it was all fifty percent off. Um, so I got quite a few little bits of Easter things. Then they had Valentine's Day. They had Mother's Day. Um, so if you wanted to get like, and you can't keep doing that, people can't hear me. Sorry. You're far too loud. I'm preparing the meal. Um, so you could get like Mother's Day cards. If we did get, we got Mother's Day cards for our mums for half price. We got loads of Easter stuff for half price. Um, I said you could have got Valentine's Day things. I actually bought Matilda a little like Valentine's Day, two little cuddly avocados together. That was cute. Uh, they didn't really have a lot of Christmas stuff left, did they? No, but I think that that will come out in November. I think they've got like the Easter stuff. I think that they, they buy it after the event and then send it. Ah, uh, maybe. So I'm thinking that this Easter stuff might have been last year's Easter stuff that they bought in the sale, and then they've put it out now. Like, cause they're like, how can this be out now? And it's only just coming out in the shops. And some of this is even out in the shops. Mm. Um, so I think it might be last year's, and I think the same for like the Halloween, not the Halloween, the Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. I think a lot of it was probably in the shops last year. Which is fine. Yeah, and it's just come back out again now. Mm. Uh, which, like I said, for half price, it doesn't really matter, does it? You're still getting an absolute bargain, no matter what you do. Mm. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. You've got to show people your stuff. You've got to show people what we've got. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that in a minute. I was thinking of something else I was going to say, then I've completely forgot now. I don't know. <laughs> no, oh, they did have some Christmas ornaments, actually. Yeah. They had the Christmas ornaments, like I said. And they had like some Christmas tree toppers um, and some like leftover like Christmas bags from the Disney store, like the boxes. Yeah. I suppose if you wanted one of those and put it away for next year, they had wrapping paper as well, because someone was buying loads of rolls of wrapping paper. Oh, and right. should I buy it all now? Should because I might as well do it and put it all away. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, isn't it? If you buy it and then put it away. It's better, isn't it, than trying to buy it all hmm. next year when you don't need to. So I will flip around and we will see. Let's try and see if I can do this. <laughs> oh, I've got my finger on it. I'm trying to flick on that, but I can't click on it. What? This. Oh, I'm messing up again. Oh, you've already done no, it. No, I've Sorry. already flipped myself around. Sorry. <laughs> Technology. I'm confusing. I've already flipped myself yeah. around. Just so. Okay. You're gonna bang your head, buddy. Right, stop. Stop. It's because he wants the ball. And he wants someone to play ball with him, even though he's just now. And so this is what we got. So um, I'll try and remember roughly the prices if I can. Some stuff's got the prices wrote on it, so it's pretty self explanatory that it was just half price. Um, 
So this is the game that I got because it's um, my friend's little boy's birthday and that was in the five pound section. So it's an action science power track. I'm not really sure what it kind of is. So it says it's um, a STEM one. So it says teaches the first steps of coding and circuit oh, building. Like a robot. You build the circuit. And yeah, the I think you build the circuit and send the robot round. So it says with Volty, the easy to code robot, discover my special features, age five plus. Okay. And that's it with five pounds. And the box is fine on it. And so that's why I picked it up because I thought, oh, it's his birthday in two weeks. That's a great little present for somebody. Mm -hmm. um, so that was in the section that was five pounds. So it's just the five pounds. There's no like 50% off it. They're just, so some stuff were like that. Some stuff had a price and it said final sale price, which meant that there was nothing else off. That was just the price, isn't it? Yeah. It's the price is what it is kind of thing. Um, so that was final sale price for that. And then Easter stuff, I picked up these um, plates from Asda, I think they were. So it's 12 paper plates, um, a pound, so they were 50p. But I just thought they come in handy over these, like having breakfast and snacks and things. You don't have to do washing up then because they're just a pound. And I said they were 50p. So that was one Easter thing. I got Matilda these Easter stickers for 50p because she loves doing things like arts and crafts and stuff over Easter. So I thought they're good for 50p. Then I got uh, these for a pound. So it was six make your own scratch art decorations. Um, so I thought she will quite like that. She gets to like do the scratch art on the decorations. Again, I'm not sure how much these were because these obviously have the price wrote on them. Yeah. But then they were half price. And I do, I do yeah. think they probably was about two pounds to be yeah, fair, if not more. Um, these were two pounds. So I bought these, not sure what they're gonna be like, but it was 12 Easter treat box. So I thought they were really cute for putting little things in for um, Matilda's little friends and stuff for Easter. So two pounds, and so they were a pound. So it was one pound for 12 Easter boxes. Yeah, then I got- the strange people who send Easter cards. Easter cards, and Matilda likes sending Easter cards every year. So it was eight Easter cards with envelopes and two designs. So they would have been 50p. So I thought I can't grumble at, can you, for 50p? They are total opposite when it comes to cards, isn't that? But you'd give a card out for the start of spring, autumn, winter and summer. I if wouldn't give a card. Wednesday, I don't give cards for anything. I don't know, I literally give them for Christmas and Easter. That's yeah. all I give cards. I don't give Halloween cards and yeah. things like that. And then I got a nice little yellow daisy um, tablecloth. That was £3. That was £1.50. So I do quite like having little tablecloths for like New Year and Christmas and Halloween and stuff like Valentine's Day. So paper tablecloth, so I've got a really nice for Easter, so we can have some nice little yellow tablecloth. We've got our little plates, and so I can do some decorations and boxes and cards. And then to go with Easter, I bought this. So my mum and my sister have had one of these for years, but I've just never had one. So it's basically like a tree and you like hang decorations on it. So it was seven pounds. So it was three pound fifty. But I did think like we could probably use it at Halloween. Yeah. Like to hang like Halloween things on it. We could even use it at Christmas if we wanted to. Um, but I know my mum has it's one. It's a gift that keeps giving. No, because I know my mum and my sister have one. They just like hang like little eggs on it and yeah. stuff. But I thought like if we've got a nice tablecloth down, we've got a nice tree up, a nice little plates out. Matilda's made some stuff. So really like that's not a bad deal for all that Easter stuff that we got all half price. Um, then for Mother's Day, I got both, I got the same card for my mum and aunt's mum. So happy Mother's Day with love. So these were £1.50 each. So I paid basically £1.50 for the two. <laughs> um, they did come with envelopes, I've just not put them out. But I just like the fact that it's Bambi. I thought they were really cute. So they were like, what's that, 75p each? Yeah. So it's like 75p each half price. Now then, we just need to remember that we've bought them when it comes to Mother's Day. I know. Then when we were in Florida, my mum really wanted tea towels, but they were so expensive. Um, so this one was £18 and it was obviously half price. So that meant nine pounds. I think it's just. Yeah, I didn't realise it was only one. Oh yeah, I thought it was two actually. Yeah. <laughs> I paid nine pounds for one tea towel, but it's a Mother's Day present for us, so. But it says just a spoonful of sugar. So I did buy her some in the outlets as well, didn't I, when we were there? Um, and I gave her them for a birthday, I think it was. Um, but they are like official Disney ones, so I think she'll like that. Just a spoonful of sugar, and it's like very poppins with a little sugar. So it's got like little jewels on coming down. So at least that's one Mother's Day present. Sorted. Then these are what I got for Matilda. How cute are these? Little cuddly avocados. 
So I thought they were really, I just realised Jasper's probably going to go for these actually because they're just about the mm -hmm. nice little size for him, aren't they? Probably end up going to be Jasper toys. So they were £2.50 and again they were half price, that was £1.25. Um, and again they're from George in Asda, but I still think they're really really cute for £1.25. Yeah. Like she's going to love them. And then what we did buy was, look at this. So this should have been £16 and it was half price, so that's £8. Uh, which I think is reasonable compared to the group that was... That we really wanted, that they've marked up to £40. What have they put? Yeah, they've marked on the... They've literally wrote on the, on the thing here. So they peeled all this off and they wrote on the back 40 which meant that it was £20 for the group. And it's the one that she really wanted last year, but you got the wrong one. You got the Grogu in the mummy costume because you forgot which one it was. The last price on the Disney website was 12 59 yeah, so the last price on the Disney website in the sale, not for this one, for the Grogu, mm. uh, was £12.59. They'd marked it at 40 which half price would have meant 20 I didn't think it probably was 20 um, at full price. I think they've doubled the price to half it back down to full price. Yeah, basically. but that's just silly. He's not saying yeah. anything. That's probably why no one bought it. But I think that's not bad, though. £16, half price. And then watch what it does. Look! Chip and Dale are inside. <laughs> I think that is a top tip for when you go there, know your prices. Yeah, I think you've got to know your price. It does come out a little bit more, I just can't do it because of the phone. Um, there they are. So it's got Chip and Dale sat inside the pumpkin, which I think is really cute. I think for Oh yeah, so they're attached on yeah. the bottom. Um, and they're attached on the top. I mean, you could just cut them out if you wanted to. Um, and just put them in. But I think they're cute, like it stays like that. Right, so they stay up or they go back down like that. I just think it's so cute. I really, really love that. Um, so we bought that. Then we bought this for Matilda. So this was a Disney teacher and it says Ohana means family. So we just thought it was really cute because it's our little she YouTube name Ohana. Yeah, she made that. herself one at Primark when we went last year um, to Florida. But I thought if we end up going on the Disney cruise this year, mm. it'll be nice because I realise that she's got so bloody tall now. Yeah. Sorry that um, a lot of her clothes from last year aren't fitting her. So this was just like a UK small. So it was £18 full price £9. and it was half price. So we paid £9 for that. So it does say, oops, sorry. There we go, as you can see, rainbow collection stitch. <laughs> She's really good, so it's got, oh, it's not got something on it. It's just a little, yeah. So I think that was a really nice one. Then I got this, so we saw it when we were away in Disney in Florida, but we didn't buy it because it was quite expensive. Um, but they had it half price, and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna have to get that exactly what I wanted. So it says Walt Disney World, the world's most magical celebration. And then as you can see inside, look, it's got the castle, the 50th anniversary castle in the middle as well. And I think I only got it because I thought we went during that festival, yeah. I wouldn't have got it otherwise. So but this is was... another one that they've marked it at 30, I think that they were probably 25, so they don't marked it a little bit. Um, mm. So you got it for 15, which is Yeah, so I got it for 15 pounds. So they, when I say up marks, I'll show you what I mean. So you can see here where they've ripped off what the prices would have been and they've just wrote over the top of it in a pen. Um, so they wrote there 30 pounds. Um, but like I said, it was still half price, so that still makes it £15, yeah, doesn't it? Which is still a good price for it. I'd still pay £15 for it. Um, but like I said, it's just one of those, just knowing your prices. But then again, if you're happy to pay for it, you're happy to pay for it, aren't you? That's the yeah. thing. Um, and like I said, I was happy to pay the price for that. I love it, let's do this little pin here, just like I said, it's a little tiny one. And then I picked up this at the till for Matilda because she loves season's greetings. So she has already got something similar to this, but I just thought it was really cute because it was £7 and it was half price. Yeah. So I thought we just need to buy it because it's just so cute. Yeah, I shouldn't love it. Um, then this was like the holy grail of the trip. Yeah. Tower of Terror is my favourite ride and I really don't need any more lounge lines, but mm -hmm. I will happily sell one of my other ones for this. <laughs> Because honestly, and I've actually been online and apparently it's sold out. They had this in the shops while we were there, though you just couldn't bring yourself to buy it. No, because it was too. Early. I wonder if it glows in the dark because yeah, that little time on, on the top looks like it glows in the dark. Yeah. yeah Ooh, exciting. So this was 120. 
So mark down to 60. Okay, but they'd marked it at that, hadn't they? Yeah. So I'm not sure what it... We worked it out in the shop, don't we? I think in the shop. So yeah. they'd put it as £120, whereas I think in the shop they were $70. Yeah, that's $75, I think they were, so about £70. Yeah, so they were $75 to buy full price, which would have been £70, and they put it at 120 so they really have marked that up Massive. um, massively. But obviously, with your 50% off, it still takes it down to 60 um so 60 from 75 or whatever it's still 15 pound cheaper yeah um but obviously not as great as a bargain as some of the others but it does oh yeah it shows you here glow in the dark get yeah, points of that bit glow is best under uv light but it does glow in the dark and then just to show you the inside so hello oh it's got this as well on the back of it drop in anytime and then inside here Look how cool this is. So it's like mini on a chalange. Then they've got a plate over there looking really angry. And here's the first, I think it was Donald. Donald there. And there's Goofy up there. Let's see if I can get Goofy up there. There you go. So there's Goofy, Mini, Pluto, and Donald. So that's really cute. I love it. And then what happens is you slide these doors. So it's not as easy as it looks. You've got to like slide them one at a time. And it reveals Minnie and Mickey inside. How cool is that? I think that's all living. I think Mickey's like kind of covered. Like that's the all, yeah. all the way it goes. Oh you can see how it's like a little slider there. So then it looks like that. So you've got Minnie and Mickey inside. I mean, you can slide the doors back across. But like I say, it's not as easy as. It looks that one really doesn't want to go back that on there. There we go. Not as easy as it looks, but it is pretty funky that the, the doors kind of slide open and then you've got Pluto, Goofy, Donald and Mickey at the top there. Haunted Tower Hotel and then the bottom of it is just kind of black Disney Park lounge flies. It's very soft as well. The only thing is it's smaller Small than the other lounge flies and there's no pocket on the front because it has this. There's no side um, Oh yeah, the side pocket's like fake. There's no side pocket where they normally have side pockets. No side pockets, but I do have the haunted, the haunted mansion. I keep saying <laughs> because it's got H T H on it. Haunted Hollywood Tower Hotel. Yeah. No H T H. Yeah, Hollywood Tower Hotel. Hollywood Tower Hotel. Oh, okay. Um. So I think it's gonna go really well with that, isn't yeah. it? No. Did the lounge side of I wasn't gonna get this, but I'm decided that. I don't know why you wanted it. Because it was unique. Because it's new and unique. Okay. So again, they've marked this one up. So they put it at a hundred pounds. You can clearly tell it wasn't a hundred because here it was only ninety euros. Yeah. And the pound is normally less than Yeah, it was like seventy pounds. The euro, isn't it? Which you can see from this one here, because that is seven pounds and that's ten euros. So ten euros, seven pounds is less than ten. So if this was ninety euros. It probably was about £70, yeah, maybe. Yeah, £65, £70. Um, and they put it at 100 But then again, half of 100 is 50 Yeah. So, so cheaper it's still than cheaper than what it was. was. And it is full on. I think it's Funko Pop. Yeah, I do. So it's Funko Pop Avengers. But Matilda's really got into Avengers. And we figured with the new Avengers campus opening at... Um, Paris. Paris. And it would be quite funky. Out. And look... It's upside down. So I don't know why it's upside down. And we only realised as we got to the till. Um, well, sorry, you picked it up first. Yeah, you realised in the shop because we saw it in the shop upside down. And then we went, did we get it, don't we? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought you'd, you'd seen yeah. it at the till. No. And then took it back and then I'd seen it. No. So you'd seen it before I noticed it. No, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I Anymore. can't remember now. Yeah. Been but look, long. so it's Marvel Lounge. But they've put the badge on upside down. I don't know how they've managed to do that. No. Um, so we thought it was quite new unique and maybe like quite like a bit of a collectible with it being upside down because you don't normally get them with the badges upside down. That's really, really weird. Um, but the badge is upside down. So let us know what you think of that. Uh, I'm trying to show you. Sometimes it's really hard to get inside. So that's what it is inside. So it's basically like all their, what's it called? All their, all their symbols, symbols, all their logos, yeah. 
put all their kind of lower order inside you can see in there and then this one does have a pocket on the front so it's just the classic little you could probably see that if i take that out there oh so that's what you get inside them so you can see that side is just the print because it's the print of the bag but then inside there that is the pattern that's inside the bag so that's all the logo pattern inside and then this one does have the little water bottle or i've used it for umbrellas as well um little pockets and the back of it is patterned as well which i know quite a lot of them the back of them are just plain yeah um but this is fully all the way round pockets from everything is completely complete i suppose like it's like Little disney park one mm. that's completely patterned isn't it yeah i'm gonna shove that in there i like to keep them quite nice until we use them but i always think otherwise they get bent out of shape a little bit so i always like to keep them quite nice so i will go over the price now if i can find the receipts so basically this is what you get is the receipt so we've got two because and we went, went around the shop once and, and bought whatever we bought and then we went round again and I picked up a few extra bits I think didn't I? I'm trying to think of what we got on what though so I couldn't uh, work it got, out. This was in the second lot and the pin and your jump and your t-shirt were in the second lot. So that was in your lot yeah. and that, yeah. that was what you bought first wasn't it? I bought that second, we bought that first. Second, August was first, second, so. was all that first? Yeah. Oh no, that wasn't, was it? No. Okay, so we can see now. So this was one set of stuff. So everything that Ant bought, so that's saying Asta, 14 pounds. Then it's saying Disney was 172. And we don't know if it equals 186, which I don't really know. Because it does. Those two together are 186. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. so 14 plus 172 is 186. 50% off made £93. And then the box, so the game that we got that was £5 because it had no discount on, made it £98 in total. So that was £98. So for £98, we got the Haunted, sorry, the Tower of Terror Lounge. I love Tower of Terror. I keep calling it a Haunted Mansion. So it was Tower of Terror Lounge for like the game the um chippendale pumpkin the ohana t-shirt the mary poppins um, tea towel then we got easter cards easter boxes easter stickers and easter tablecloth and easter scratch art so all that was 98 in total then i went again so i got my asta was 850 my disney was 137 that made 145.50 50% off, made it £72.75p. and p. So this one was £72. That was for the lounge fly. My 50th t-shirt. The two little mini avocados. The plates. The two Mother's Day cards. And oh, the group so pin. So it was £170 and you got two lounge flies. So, well, 98 and 72 Yeah, 170 Okay, so £170 in total for everything. Which does seem like a lot of money. Yeah. Um, even at half price. But then you've got two miles. It doesn't look like a lot, but lounge mm. fly. You know, we pay £75 on lounge fly. So yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, the lounge fly is. Well, what did you say? It was 170 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I think that game would have probably been about £20. Yeah, tripping day. Like I said, they, they were £16. All these are like three, two, one. They should have been 18 Matilda's t shirt. My t shirt should have been 30 um you know this should have been seven so we have saved but that should have been decent. seven um i forgot about that actually so it was including that yeah um in the first lot so we have saved quite a lot of money there to be honest yeah. so i'll just remind you again so it was catalog returns outlet limited it's in wakefield so this is the kind of we see is because catalog returns outlet outlet limited units one to four brotherton park and there's the postcode and there's the telephone number, um, so it's you really can easy to get to. Google it yourself. Oh, well, you've got like a receipt there, I didn't get a receipt on there. Um, when you go as well, they ask you if you remember. It's fine if you're not, because we're not. They just basically wrote us a card out. Yeah, they made us members. Yeah, they just basically make details. you members, but they don't have any details off you to make you a member. They don't ask for your phone number, email address, anything like that. And then they just literally gave, gave you um, 
It doesn't matter if I show it, does no, it? There's nothing, nothing on it now. Just literally a card here, look, catalogue return. So it tells you when they're opening. So, hi Kelly. So it says, open Monday to Friday, 9am and close at 4pm. Saturday and Sunday, they're open 10 and close at 4. So it says, 7% selected furniture. Oh, they're on eBay. Oh yeah, I've seen their eBay shop. Yeah. I did when they they're on eBay, the they're on Facebook. Um, and then it says, oh, we close at four. <laughs> That's just about COVID. We're going home at four, no matter what. We're going so it home. tells you there, order the whole income. But and some stuff as well, when you look on the website, sometimes it does say um, delivery. Yeah. I think you probably have to be more local than what we are an hour and a half away. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they do deliver things just like the beds. I think if you bought it off of eBay, they deliver it. So yeah, I've got a few of So the things like sometimes, like I've noticed when I scroll through the Facebook, they have things like, I'll just switch around. And when I scroll for the Facebook, they had stuff last summer and it was like table sets. When we got that actually outside with a big swing set, didn't they? Yeah. Only one. Uh, like rattan furniture, um, sheds and things. And it was like shed a hundred pound, um, ring up to claim, delivery for free. Um, so you just ring up, claim the shed for a hundred pound, they deliver it, rattan furniture sets. Um, so it's worth keeping your eye out on yeah, it. You know, obviously this Disney stuff is good as well. Facebook. But I think like so we just got them on Facebook now and we're just kind of like looking through. Um, it comes up in our news like so we're not going to probably go for it maybe in the summer we might go again for another trip I think summer. if we do do the cruise we might have a trip just before that maybe yeah if we do the cruise we might have a trip before that just so we can see what bits we can get I wish they'd in the Disney stars it'd be much better I know it would be much easier wouldn't it um, but I think we're going to go now because we've been on about half an hour and our dog is not happy with us that we're not picking him up <laughs> come on then do you want to hold it for a minute and I'll just grab it okay come on then what's the matter you want to say hello to everybody yeah, you want to say hello? You say hello to your fans. It's like, who, mummy? There's nobody here. Matilda's <laughs> not here, and she's my biggest number one fan. So I don't know what you're talking about. Well, he doesn't want to know, yeah. He just literally wants to sit on my knee. That's all he wants to do. Look, yeah, he's happy. He's now. upset because he can't sit on my knee. That's the only <laughs> problem he's got. He's like, well, excuse me, you're leaving me out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daft dog. You're mad, aren't you? Um, but yeah, haircut, definitely say to have a trip up there yeah. for people, but ring yeah. first and know your prices. Well, I, I'd just look on their website, on the Facebook, sorry, yeah. first. So I'd just check that, and even just comment and just say, have you still got... I did said that it's slowing down a bit now with Disney stuff. She said that they've got a move, but it's slowing down a bit. Ah, oh, did she? Because they had like yeah. all the animated dolls. Yeah, um, and they were 50, like 15 pound yeah. half price. I didn't know Matilda was younger. Oh, yeah, she would have, we would have absolutely spent a fortune in there. Yeah, with all the dolls. Um, we would have the spent a fortune if she, she loved the animator sets when she was younger. We would have spent a fortune, but it's good to put it away for Christmas and birthdays. That's what I was trying to look at all the games and stuff like what can I put oh, away? Yeah. So, like, now I can put this pin away for her, we can put the t shirt away, we can put the Halloween pumpkin, yeah. I can put little avocados away. I've got that for my friend's birthday in a couple of weeks, I've got stuff for her for Easter. Yeah. So, it doesn't like a lot of stuff. Off, but it's Being things that I can put away for it and just prepared, yeah. And it's like the woman next to me, she's like, oh, she's been buying all this for my grandkids, and even if I save it to Christmas. Oh, you didn't say that? She bought 10 maidens. 10 maidens? I think she was selling stuff oh, as well. Possibly. Because <laughs> she was buying all like jigsaws yeah, yeah, and the yeah. Star Wars play sets and yeah. the games and everything like that, which we just don't need. So, yeah. um, but like I so said, you've got a child and it's the birthday and we love Disney. Or even yourself, like I said, we're the only two lounge flies in today. But I saw a lady's video from last weekend and there was about six. Yeah. So that it like it definitely has reduced. We probably should have gone last weekend in hindsight. Um hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? But we still got some bits and we're still happy with what we got and we've yeah, seen it now. Out so nothing else. We got to yeah. see the fog and the snow and <laughs> yeah, it was nice going over up there, not been up that way for ages, have we? Yeah. Um went to Greg's on the way back on the service station. That was nice. <laughs> So I think we're going to end it there and we'll see you all soon. So thank you for watching. We've been Ohana of three and we will see you soon. Bye for now.